Hello and welcome to another Bedrock video. My name is Craig and today we'll be covering breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams. Bedrock are Microsoft Solutions partner for modern work. This means that we are Microsoft experts who can support you with the best solutions to enhance your organization's modern work environment. Before we get into it, let's talk about some reasons to use breakout rooms. By using them, you can create an interactive environment where your team can have focused conversations, work on group activities, and build connections. It's almost like recreating the energy of face-to-face -face interactions, but from the comfort of your own space. Now picture this. You're hosting a virtual meeting with a large group of people, and you want meaningful discussions to encourage teamwork and boost participant engagement. Well, that's where breakout rooms come in. These virtual spaces within Microsoft Teams allows you to divide your participants into smaller groups, giving everyone a chance to collaborate and share their ideas. Now, it can be a bit daunting to set up, but don't worry, I'm here to take you through how to do it. So let's get into it. Once you're in your meeting, you'll see meeting controls at the top of your screen. If there are any settings you can't find, try clicking the More Actions button here. This gives you more options and features that you can play around with and get right for your meeting. In this top bar, you'll find this button here. Click it to open up the settings. You should see a window that looks something like this. Here you can configure various settings for your breakout rooms. Let me walk you through each option. You have your number of rooms. You can specify the number of breakout rooms you need for your session, from one all the way to 50. You can assign participants automatically, where teams will automatically do this for you. Or you can do it manually. Click Create Rooms, and you'll see a window like this. Firstly, if you don't have enough rooms, you can click this button here to add more rooms. You can do it as many times as you need, like this. You can also delete all of your rooms, but don't worry, you get a pop-up like this, so you can't accidentally do it. You've also got some extra settings here. First of all, you can assign presenters. This allows you to choose specific people to present or facilitate in each room. Importantly, you can set a time limit on your breakout sessions. This can be as long or as short as you want. The last option here lets you decide if you want to allow people to return to the main meeting at any time. Hit save. And then this back button to get back to this window. If you're manually assigning rooms or wish to change which room someone is in, click assign participants, which will open a window that looks something like this. Hopefully you have more than one person in your list and it would be shown here under this name. Here, you can manually assign rooms and change rooms randomly using the shuffle button. I'm going to assign person one to room two. You can do it with multiple people at once, assigning different rooms to each one, and then hit save. MS Teams will assign them to the rooms. You can see here, we have one person in room two. Once you click open, Teams will start to move everyone to their assigned rooms. Sometimes this can take a minute or so, so make sure you've got some filler chat on hand so you're not stuck awkwardly looking at each other in silence. Now your participants are in their rooms and you can manage the breakout rooms from here. You have the ability to join any room you wish by clicking the three dots next to it. You're able to broadcast a message here. You can tell them that there's two minutes left on their meeting. Hit send, and that will be broadcast to all of the different rooms. They'll get a pop-up at the top of their screen. If somebody were to join late or potentially get kicked out, then they would join you in this main meeting again. But don't worry, you can click assign participants, find their name in the list, choose which room you wish to assign them to, and hit save. If you've set a time limit for your sessions, the rooms will close automatically at the end of this time and bring everyone back to the main meeting. If not, click close and it will do the same thing. Again, this can take a minute, so make sure 
to give it a minute until everyone has rejoined the meeting and been admitted back into this main room. And there you have it, a quick rundown of Microsoft Teams breakout rooms. There's plenty more you can do with Teams, so be sure to watch this space for more videos. Bedrock also hosts a monthly What's New in Microsoft 365 webinar, where you can find out more about the latest updates and features coming to Microsoft 365 programs, including Teams. You can find out more on our website or right here on our YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video.